Uh, hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. Um, yep, I'm speaking again. My last two videos, I didn't speak because I don't really like talking over gameplay, if that makes sense. Like, like any gameplay where I actually have to, like, play for more than, like, 30 seconds, I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't really like talking over it. So I just let that play out <clears throat> for the clears. Anyways, today's video, uh, I'm going to be talking about the Misty ultimate misty buffs misty rules whatever 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 i don't really know um so in the new misty corridor i feel like it's a lot like alter now whereas we have seasons we have buffs and we have rules um if you guys don't know if you go to alters uh that was alter i haven't cleared it sorry we have buffs we have seasons and yeah that's basically it. i don't think there's any rules though but yeah buffs and seasons like like misty now so um in Misty, there's two there's two rules. Um, the Pranky Kitty. Uh, this is pretty easy to avoid, but also can be uh, decently annoying in like the tight tight areas. But um, not too big a deal. But it's all right. Um, and then there is the Mounted Triumph. If Team Total Warmout used is less than five on Boss of Phase Four, you can get extra words for clearing. What this means is when you're fighting the final boss, if you don't, if your team doesn't get demounted more than five times, five times or more, then um, you're chilling basically. Because this basically means every time you mount up, it counts as one. Every time you mount up again, it counts as two. Um, I have reason to believe that this probably counts as transforms as well, for transforms as well, because when you transform, you're demounting yourself technically. So if you use a transform, then you immediately remount, I'm going to guess that counts as one. But also, this is something that like only really whale teams or like solo players who are like st strong enough to just solo it themselves can really get the reward um norm normal teams probably aren't going to go for this so yeah it's whatever anyway on to the musty ultimates so we've got six skills here um i'm going to just be going over what i think is best for which classes um basically all, all the dps should be one class and then like supports like priest and um, paladin should probably be the same as well as well as twin star unless my bad so yeah, Priest, Paladin, Twin Star should all have the same things, and I think all the other DPS classes should have the same thing as well. Um, for Priest and Paladin, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna explain Team Armor and Medical Expert. Um, team Armor gives your teammates a shield based off your percent of HP for um, a certain duration after you enter the battle. Um, the reason I think this is the best for uh, Priest or Paladin, or maybe even Twin Star, is because on those classes, you're not really building up any stats besides like your base, attack, HP, defense, if that makes sense. So those classes are probably going to be the ones with the highest HP in the team unless you're you're playing with some whales. So um, the shield based off the HP you get, based off your HP, can be pretty big for those people who have 60 mil plus HP. Um, so yeah, that's why team armor is great for those support classes, especially priests. Um, but especially paladins, but no paladins are alive, are, dead, are alive so like, mostly priests, yeah. Medical expert, allies within 3 meter radius of you restore 10% of their HP, same buffs don't stack, but yeah. So basically, um, this is for priests or twin stars, honestly, I think this is better for twin stars and priests, because the twin stars directly on top of like the main DPS or like the, one of the DPSs, so they're gonna be in the 3 meter radius a lot uh, more often than a, um, Priest will probably because priests do still have to separate themselves from from um, DPS to avoid boss mechanics sometimes. So for a twin star, I feel like this is the best skill for you to get first of all. But then um, for a priest, I'd say get for your first skill, if you only have one skill option available right now, I would go for team armor. But if you're a twin star for the first one skill that's available, I would go for ultimate for the um, medical expert, in my opinion. Um, and then eventually you'll, you'll just get both of them on both classes, so it doesn't really matter either ways. But yeah. And then for the DPS, what I currently think are the current best skills, because I'm saying current very, um, um, I'm trying to explain current because these can very well change based off of the upgrades that, that I looked at. But right now, what I think is the best, at least for me, is attack enhance. The reason I think attack enhance, first of all, is because this is a permanent buff, a permanent buff inside the Misty, um, the Misty buff, the Misty dungeon. So this is the only single permanent buff that there is. So that's why I think this, first of all. The rest of the buffs are all temporary buffs, and temporary buffs are all right, except the final boss fight is very long for most people, so I think a permanent buff is better than temporary buff. The last couple seconds. Next is indefat indefatigability. Indefatigability, yeah. 
Gain 20% attack bonus for 10 seconds upon entering the battle. The reason that I chose this one instead of Charge, Strike, or Concentration is because Concentration is a gain to 5 attack bonus if you don't move in 8 seconds. Which, first of all, I don't even know what 5 attack is. I think it's supposed to be 5%, but I'm not exactly sure because they put percent of the other stuff. So I guess it's not supposed to be it. That was my first thought, but I guess it's not. So I don't really know what 5, five attack is. Um, and not moving in Misty is kind of griefing, unless you can just tank everything, but not moving is kind of griefing, so I don't really agree with the concentration being worthwhile to get. Um, so that's basically out of the option. And then next is Charge Strike. Gains a 50% attack bonus if no skill or normal skill or normal attack is used in 6 seconds. Where's off 2 seconds after using a normal skill normal attack? So, the, the, the buff is huge, honestly, but there's two downsides and two, two downsides or drawbacks that are going to call it to the skill. The first one is you can't use another skill for 6 seconds, which for Pyro isn't really that bad, I'm going to be honest. For Osser, this is terrible. For Osser, this is a horrible thing. But for Pyro, you can get around this because most of your skills have a, I think, um, word development is, you got 30, 9, 10, and Blink is like 7 seconds. So you can pull this off if you, if you use no normal attacks, but when you don't use normal attacks, you lose your ignore defense bonus. So, use this as you may. Um... If you have 100% lower defense, this is more practical to use than someone who was like 80%, but um, I don't recommend using this currently as it is now. Although, when looking at the upgrade bonus of Charge Strike, the um, the duration, go the cooldown goes down. So if this goes down to like 3 seconds, honestly, I see this being pretty useful in the honesty. That's why I emphasize the 4 now in my um, at the beginning of the video. And I also think that the 2 seconds is enough for... For Pyro, two seconds is enough to get one Firebird off. So, like, it's, like, it can be useful, but at the same time, it's hard to say if that two seconds, if you're going to make make full use of that two seconds. So, that's my thoughts on this. I, I think that if the cooldown goes low enough, <clears throat> if the cooldown goes low enough, the five seconds, I mean, the two seconds can, eh, I don't know. It's still, it's still iffy to me, but I think that there could be a situation where you could use this. But for me personally, I think that in-depth tangibility, the uh, attack bonus for the uh, for entering battle is better. Um, because every time you come back, every if you die and revive, you go back into battle, you get that attack bonus as well. So, this is just the best thing for me, personally. Um, and Charge Strike, like, if you're using Blink or something, you're, you're still using skills. So, like, when you're heading back to the boss, if you Blink into the boss room or something like that, like, you, you, you don't get this bonus. Um, your bonus won't work exactly, so yeah. Um, other than that, attack enhanced is the permanent buff, so this is my first priority because I like permanent buffs. And I'm just going to end it here. I think that's basically it for my uh, thoughts on the buffs on what to get. Um, I feel like this is a pretty simple video. I didn't even know if I was going to make this or not, honestly, but some people still don't know what the buffs are. So I decided that um, I'd make this. I don't know what I'm titled it. I'm probably going to figure it out, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching.